All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Liveware application. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can add change password functionality using Liveware and Laravel 45. So, first of all, let me give you the demo first. And over here, we have this change password form. And if I click on save changes without entering anything, then we have these validations. So, let me enter current invalid password. So, let me enter new password and click on save changes and it is saying that the provided password doesn't match your current password so let me enter the valid current password and then valid new password with add characters and click on save changes and we are able to successfully change the password and this form will also reset so in this video i will show you how we can do this exact thing using laravel 45 and liveware so let's get started okay so let me go to update profile.blade.psv file and over here we have this form related to update password so on submit on when the form is submitted we will be using liveware so let's do where on form submit will prevent the default behavior and then all the method called change password okay so let's create this method on our component inside of update profile.psp class so so over here let's create a method called change password so change password and let me do time dump here okay so let me refresh the page change password and click on save changes and we are calling that method perfect so now let me open the file explorer so over here inside of app and then actions and then 45 we have these specific files so over here let me click on update user password and on this class there is a method called update for updating the password and it is doing validations and we are filling the password so this class is implementing the interface called updates user password so we'll be using that interface so let me go to update profile and then let's type in that interface and then let's do updater okay so now if i do die and dump updater now let's import this interface so the class is uh, imported and then let me do die and dump updater yes so now if I click on save changes and it is saying that the target update user password is not instantiable. So actually this is uh, updates user password is interface so this is not instantiable. So to fix this we need to go to uh, 45 service provider and on the boot method we need to uh, uncomment this part. So if we uncomment this part then if we are using this interface then it will return the new instance of update user password class okay so now let's try one more time by clicking save changes and we are getting the instance of app action spotify and update user password so on this class we can call the update method right so let me go to update profile and over here instead of die and dump let's do updater and then update we want to update specific user we need to pass the current user as this first argument and on second argument we can pass these fields with values okay so we can pass current password from this state and then current password and then password this state password and then password confirmation okay this state password confirmation so let me go to this class update user password and over here we are receiving the user is first argument and area of input is second argument and the fields that we need to pass are password current password and then password confirmation for confirming the password okay so let me go back now let me go to update 
root file that delete the PSP file and on this input we need to do wire model the defer to state dot current password and over here wire model the defer goes state dot password and on password confirmation we need to do where model dot default equals state dot password confirmation okay so now let me refresh the page and click on save changes and it is saying that undefined index current password right so to fix this we can simply do if there is a current password then use that otherwise let's pass as empty similarly we can do the same over here and here as well let me try one more time and we are not getting that error okay so actually that is showing the validation error so we need to display the validation message over here as well so to do that let me go to update profile.play.psv file and then over here on current password let me copy this part from here okay so current there is error for current password and we'll display that validation message similarly on our class we need to do if there is error for current password we need to add the class call is invalid okay so now let me refresh this and try one more time and we are getting this validation message so let's do the same for new password and password confirmation so let me copy this and on new password new password let me press that so if there is error for password then we will display that validation message let's do the same over here if there is error for password then we'll be displaying is invalid class similarly on password confirmation let's do the same there is error for password confirmation we'll display the message and same on the class as well if there is error for password information will add the class call is invalid so now let me try this click on save changes actually this is moving to the first part so we'll fix that later so if i click on change password we are getting the validation message which is perfect so now let's fix this uh, issue over here so if i click on save changes it is moving to edit profile so to fix this let me go to update profile.blade.psp file and then over here we can do wire ignore okay so now let me try this click on change password let's click on save changes and there is another issue now this is not moving to edit profile but we are seeing the form for edit profile instead of change password right so let's fix this as well to fix that issue we need to add wire ignore on this div as well so let's do wire ignore and we need to add a self modifier as well so i will show you why we are adding this so let's do the same for change password as well so over here on this div let's do where ignore dot self okay let me refresh it click on change password save changes and that issue is fixed so now if i remove self modifier from here and then refresh the page and go to change password and click on save changes we don't see the validation message validation error right 
so if we do wire ignore this is ignoring this div as well as this child elements as well so instead of doing that we need to add self modifier so that it will only ignore this specific parent div it will not ignore this okay so so that we will see that validation messages so let me refresh the page and try one more time and we are back to the fine state okay and over here we have this validation messages and these messages are coming from the class call update user password so while installing 45 we get those classes right so over here oh, we are doing the validations okay now let me enter the valid password password and then password so click on save changes and the password is changed but we don't see that a message so let's add that message as well so let me go to update password and let me copy this part from here and paste it over here so we are dispatching the browser event called updated and on message let's change this to password changed successfully okay let me refresh this let me change this password click on save changes and the password is changed successfully but the now the final thing remaining is to reset these fields because we don't want to display those input over here after saving changes so let's reset that as well so to reset that we can simply do this state current password as empty similarly we can do the same for other fields as well so for password and for password confirmation let me refresh the page and click on change password let me change the password click on save changes and we see that message and this field are also empty now which is perfect so if you are interested on refactoring the code then let's refactor the code and let's make it even better so over here let me refactor this part so let me copy paste it over here so that we can see these two different code over here let me remove this and instead of doing this we can also do array only and as a first argument we need to pass this state and as a second argument uh, let me pass the array and i want to get current password password and password confirmation okay so let's import this and this class is imported okay so let me indent it properly so that it will be more readable okay so instead of doing this we can simply do this as well so let me remove this from here and then let me go to change password press the page change password click on save changes and it is still working which is perfect so over here instead of doing this let's refactor this as well so over here let's store this results in a variable called let's say attributes okay so let me show you that let me die and dump the attributes let me refresh the page go back to change password and let me change the password save changes and we get the area of three items with the key of password confirmation and the value is password okay we can look through its attributes so let's choose a laravel collections so let me collect attributes and then map over its map over its attribute and then we can simply do this state if we do attribute then we will get the value so the first one is 
value and the second one is key so instead of attribute let me replace this two value so that it will be easy to understand so instead of doing attributes let's do key so this is similar to this okay so we can simply do equals empty string so let me remove this from here now let me save this and then try one more time and these fields are reset successfully and the password is also changed so over here let's make this even shorter using php arrow function which was introduced on php 7.4 so we can simply do collect the attributes and then map over is then we can use this arrow function value and then key and Return this state key equals empty. Okay, so now we can remove this as well and let me try one more time. Let me change this password, click on save changes, and it is successfully changed. And we successfully refactored this code as well. So so this was for this video i hope you learned something from this video and in the next video we'll be fixing some issues so let me show you that as well so over here we have this change password which is redirecting to admin profile page so it will be better if we make this change password as active when someone click over here right because currently it is redirecting to the same page called profile uh, and it will be better if someone click on change password and we make this change password tab as active one right so in the next video i will show you how we can do this as well so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one